we all know what to do at level 80. Hit Winter Grasp, buy some deadly weapons, buy some Crusader or BOEs, do Heroic Plus. But what if you're stuck at level 65 slogging through Zanger Marsh? Surely there must be some solutions to level faster to get to level 80. That's where I come in as a self-diagnosed lazy leveler. I'll always be looking to take the easy way out on leveling. So with that, I've compiled all the fastest strategies and tips for leveling into one comprehensive guide. We'll start with a foundation of strategies to speed up your leveling no matter what your level is. And then we'll move into the more specific time-saving strategies. We'll also cover the most obscure and broken methods that can make you millions of experience per hour. Let's jump into our foundational strategy. The first foundational key to fast leveling is to have both the shoulder and chest heirlooms. These give 10% bonus experience each, and they're just non-negotiable. In phase 3, you can get PvE heirlooms from either the Emblems of Heroism or the Champion Seals. Alternatively, if you have a lot of Stonekeeper shards lying around, you could turn those in for heirlooms too. I also highly recommend getting an heirloom weapon, since they automatically scale just like the armor. For our heirloom enchants, we can only put classic enchants on them. I would definitely recommend greater stats for your chest and spell power for your caster weapons. For melee though, you'll want to run fiery until at least about level 30 and then switch to the crusader enchant. We also want to throw minor speed on any pair of boots we get since that'll really speed up our leveling by speeding up travel time. One of my other favorite tricks is to put the minor haste enchant on your gloves until at least level 20. That'll make you feel like you have a permanent bloodlust. On top of heirlooms, we can also abuse the honor system to get free gear quickly. We can farm winter grasp accommodations and then mail them to our alts. Then we can turn those in for easy pvp gear. I sent my DK enough for a full set of level 70 PvP gear. It took the leveling process from slow and choppy to smooth and relaxed. With our gear sorted, we also need a good leveling strategy. The simplest and most effective leveling strategy is to quest using a leveling guide. With heirlooms, questing really does give you excellent experience. It feels a whole lot more like retail, and the mobs really just die in a few hits no matter what class you're playing. I'd also definitely recommend a free leveling add-on like Guideline to get to 80 with less stress, and then you can just follow the steps one by one with an arrow pointing you to each location. Alternatively, of course, you could use rested XP, whichever add-on works for you. Now that our foundation is set, we can save a lot of time with various strategies. The first time-saving strategy I love is the Thorns exploit. A thorn scales with your spell power, so you or a Boomkin friend can buff your low character and then one-shot mobs from 1 to 20. A friend of mine managed to get to 30 in under 5 hours during joyous journeys. Even without that, this buff is an insane time-saver. If you do only have one account, you can still force log using alt F4 on the low alt and then Thorns buff yourself. I even recommend using Thorns all the way up until about level 70, since it doesn't really fall off. If you don't have thorns, or if you want another early level time saver, another option is a world tour. No, not the heroic world tours. I'm talking about taking a ride on a mammoth or a mechano hog and picking up all the flight paths. While you pick up those flight paths, you'll also be getting explorer experience. That way you can skip the early 1 through 6 leveling at the same time. Just be really careful not to drive through any ranged mobs, or your partner might just end up dead in the sidecar. If you're currently experiencing an intense longing to ride in my sidecar, don't worry. I offer free rides to anybody subscribed to the channel. Become part of our community today and experience Azeroth from a small box welded onto my motorcycle. Back on leveling, another nice way to use gold gear advantage is consumables. Having an inventory of consumables will massively speed up your leveling speed. That's things like using grenades on cooldown, sappers, health pots, rage potions, everything. All of these consumables will also put you in a very good place for AoE leveling. We all know mages are god AoE levelers, but pretty much every class can AoE with enough consumes. I leveled my priest initially with a holy nova build and just spammed through the packs on cooldown. Even even though Priest is pretty weak, being able to use grenades and pots makes it really easy. Any of the typical classic AoE farming spots will work really well. My favorite though are hyperspawns like the Woolcloth Hyperspawn of the Wetlands. Of course, classes like Mages, Paladins, and Warriors have even more powerful strategies. On my Warrior, I did a Slave Pens method and got nearly 800,000 XP per hour. If even 800,000 XP seems a little too slow for you, you might prefer boosting instead. If you go to the Group Browser and you go to the Custom tab, you can quickly find all of the boosters currently advertising. Most of the boosts require at least one level 68, but there are also twink boosters out there too. You may have to ask around on your server, but some players have low level characters set up just to boost and bypass the boosting experience penalties. My biggest tip for boosting is to alternate leveling two characters at the same time. That way you can rack up rested experience to cut your cost in half. Okay, so now it's time to get more obscure with the fastest leveling methods in the game. The first is the sealed vial of poison. You can get these from the fishing daily or from the auction house. They give 26,000 experience per turn in with heirlooms. Unfortunately, though, sometimes these vials are too expensive, so my other secret weapon is waterlogged recipes. These are also from the Fishing Daily, and they're consistently on the auction house on Fairlina for 120 gold. People don't value them nearly as much as the poison, because you need 350 cooking to turn them in. My secret is that 350 cooking only takes about 30 minutes to get. You'll get another 32,000 XP per turn in, on top of 5 Dalaran cooking awards. That means 50 Northern Spices per turn in. The spices are typically 2.2 gold each, and they're going up every single day. I actually break even, and even make 
some gold on some days doing this method. All while I was streaming, I jumped from 70 to 74 on my warrior without even leaving Dalaran and I spent literally zero gold. Uh, speaking of zero gold, if you want to make a thousand gold per day in an extremely efficient and relaxed way, check out my new daily route here.